Hey everybody, let me show you the text tool in Photo Raw 2019. I've just opened a photo up here into the develop module. All this works in develop or effects or portrait, you name it. You can access the text tool. It lives right over here in the tool well. When I click on that, it's going to create a new text box for me. There you go. It's going to pre-fill it with just the word text and I can type in whatever I want in here. I'm just going to type in, oh, let's type in magic. And I can select all to select it. And there's a font pop-up up, up here where I can scroll through all the different fonts that are installed on my system. I can look for one that I like. Oh, that one might be good for that word magic. I can make it bigger. I can change its color in here. Oh, I'm actually going to use a dropper. Maybe let's grab the red color out of her cloak. There we go. Make it a little more vivid. I can make it bold or italic or underlined. It's alignment, whether it's left, right, or centered. I can even click on the button right there and change its opacity. There we go. And then once I've added that text box, I can see it. I can drag it, move it around. I can change its shape. I can even copy and paste that as a setting from photo to photo, even make presets using that same photo. But the thing that I really like is I can actually copy and paste text from other places as well. I'm just going to click on the add button here and I'm going to paste in some text that I already have for my clipboard. The cool thing about that is it actually brings across all of the styling from text as well. So in this case, I kind of get that cool trendy white out behind it here. I can move it around. I can size it, put in just what I want and I can click between text boxes. So let's say I don't want this one anymore. I can just delete it. There you go. There's the new text tool. It's really handy if you need to add a watermark to your photo, something like your copyright information. You can also use it to create posters, like I did in this case, or do memes for the internet, all sorts of fun things you can do. You could even use it to put in little annotations that you can hand off to your retouchers, and they can simply just delete that text box when they're done making your changes. And again, it's all non-destructive, it gets stored with your settings, and you can copy and paste it from photo to photo. Thanks for watching.